Today, how to draw the one the python. I am the snake artist and my mission in life is to get people to appreciate art and even wildlife. G'day, I'm the snake artist and of course I'm going to be doing some snake art and today we're going to be drawing the wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous Wyma Python. So I've roughly marked out where I want the body to be. After a few little minor changes here and there. This is going to be a very easy to draw. I hope it's going to be easy. Let's see how it goes. So I've basically just done that shape there. I've just done some lines like this. Marking out the body. And this is cool because it doesn't have to be perfect at this stage. Just know that the tail is a thinner end. And the middle bits are much thicker. I'm going to make that head slightly smaller. So the eye is going to be here. I am just marking out a bit here to know where to put the scales really. So if you see what I've done here, I've done a little bit around there, a little bit around there. You're not seeing that eye, it's sort of on the other side here. Put a line down there to where the scale's going to be. They've got a big scale at the front there, which they actually used to push into the soil and dig with. So you've got this line here. And these scales tend to sort of mirror both sides. And lines like this. And a bit like this. It's like I'm doing it fairly complicated, but it's going to be pretty easy. Now, it's going to like cross hatch a bit here, but just watch how I do this. I make these lines go around the shape of the head like this. And then I make them go this way. And that's going to sort of describe shape of the head a bit, a bit of shade here, and here I'm going to leave a bit of light on top of the scales here, on top of each body, so that means that this cross hatching doesn't go all the way to the top, and watch as I get to this corner here, I'm going to start making them curve around like this. Told you, it's the easy way of doing scales. Almost say it's the cheat's way, but I won't say that. Now I'm going to do the same here. Mine's going this way. When I get to here, they're going to start curving with the shape of the body like this. Watch what I do here. I'm going to go in, then I'm going to make it go that way. See, I'm just flicking in like I don't really care. You gotta have a bit of confidence with this. I've often said to students it's better to do a confident line, not perfect in the right place than to do it all in the right place but with any confidence. See how it's like a curved cross hatching when I get there. I'm going to straighten it up a bit for this bit. Okay, this is going to curve around more now. Now along the back here, and if you find any of my other snake drawings, you know as that goes inside they are closer together and they stretch out a bit more as they are on the outside.
and that makes a good start. A little bit of a circle there, it's a bit of light, making that heavier, putting an eye through there, but this is also very dark. Scale there, scale there, there's another scale there, a bit here. Just knocking out a few scales around the eyes, like so. I try and blend it up into what you've done here. So sometimes you've got to go over here a little bit just to make it blend in. There's our no scale there, big scale at the front there. Darken this line here up, and of course, we want to darken up under him. If you've seen my other videos, I've often sort of said that you make sure that underneath something has a heavier line than on top. Here on the ground, just imagine doing brackets sideways laying down, lots and lots of them. It's going to be a bit of shade under here, so I'm going to hold my pencil this way. Better way of doing shading. And a heavy line there. A bit orangey around the face. So I'm just using coloured pencil this time. And this is sort of like a very yellowy sort of orange. What you can do is just go over some of the scales like this. helps leave some of the highlights. So again I'm going to do this to just going over the cross hatching I did before really. And I'm not too fast if I miss bits. In fact I'm missing a lot here. Next I'm going to use a bit of Derwent Studio Yellow and just yellow up a few areas. Using now the, the Jazz Art colour. Remembering to leave some white bits here on these scales. That's a bit of shine. Bit of colour. So I'm starting off with lighter colours and just working up to the darker colours. And again, what I'm doing here is just going over the cross hatching where I think a stripe should be, which gives you these very subtle stripes to start with. We can make those dark a bit later. When you look at the worm of python, a bit subtle around the neck, and as it gets down into the body, the, those stripes become more and more solid. Now another Jess art darker this time. With this I'm coming up a little bit higher, so I follow the cross hatching I did before, go up a little bit higher and back down. 
down into it again. I'm also shading this bit here because I want the white bit at the top there to stand out. A little splash of yellow between the scales. Now I want to do substrate. First laying down a bit of orange. Right to the Jazza. Sort of a reddy brown. Derwin. Golden brown. Sounds good. Black. Heavy outline underneath again. You can see most of this was a bit like a colour in, wasn't it? So adventure time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this how to draw the Woma Python. I believe a lot of you guys just really love wildlife and you want to get the message out there and in a creative way. So thank you for watching this video and I hope these skills that you've picked up has been handy to you. Until the next time, I'll check you later and also check out my mate uh, Barry's channel here who uh, allowed me to use some of the footage of his Wyoming Python in this last video that I made. Last video there, his channel there. Check him out, he's a good bloke. Go tell him Snake Artist sent you. See you next time. I'm gonna go now. Click those channels.